The writing language SAT tests many skills. Uh, one of the skills they seem to be very interested in uh, is how you can combine ideas effectively in sentences. And uh, this is done through coordination and subordination. Uh, in some cases, they want you to do what's called coordinate, meaning expressing two complete thoughts as complete thoughts, combining complete thoughts correctly. And other times, they'll ask you to subordinate. Take two ideas that would be complete thoughts on their own and express one in relation to another where one thought is dependent upon or subordinate to the other. So we just want to go through quickly the proper ways to do this and avoid a couple of the pitfalls that go along with it. When dealing with coordination first, there are two ways in which you can join independent clauses together. One is to use what's called a fanboys conjunction, meaning for and, nor, but, or yet so, uh, along with a comma. A comma and a fanboys conjunction can join together independent clauses or a semicolon. The other way to do this is without the conjunction, just with a semicolon. Um, so that would look something like this. I have two thoughts. I went to the store. They were out of milk. Both of these ideas are complete in and unto themselves. If they were expressed as separate sentences, that would be fine. But in a lot of cases, you'll want to combine these to show some kind of relationship or to show that the ideas are at least at, at bare minimum related uh, concepts. So we could take, I went to the store, they were out of milk, and I could simply put a semicolon in there, and this sentence is correct. I went to the store, they were out of milk. I go back to my two original ideas, and I could say, well, let's use a conjunction to express how, or in what way these ideas are related. I could say, I went to the store, comma, but they were out of milk. And now I'm giving you a slightly different version of the events. I'm showing how these two things are tied together. Another way this can be done is through subordination. Instead of keeping them as independent thoughts, I can introduce some kind of word, usually what's called a subordinating conjunction or an introductory word, that answers a question like how, when, where, or why uh, one of the ideas took place in relation to the other. So if I go back to my two ideas, I went to the store, they were out of milk. Uh, now I could say something like, when I went to the store, they were out of milk. I use a comma to separate those two clauses because one is subordinate, when I went to the store, one is independent, they were out of milk. Those are the correct ways of doing things. On the test, you'll sometimes see this done incorrectly, and you want to avoid these things. The first is called a comma splice. I went to the store, they were out of milk. No good. These are two independent thoughts. They should either be two separate sentences, or as we did before, they should have a comma and a fanboys conjunction or semicolon separating them. Another thing that will sometimes happen is they'll give you just the conjunction, no mark of punctuation. I went to the store, but they were out of milk. If I don't have that comma in there, it is also incorrect. So those sentences, when you see them on the SAT, will definitely call out for revision, and they'll want you to change something. 